I'd like to leave behind the idea that character is very important. And you need character, uh, honesty, integrity, concern for others, efforts to make the place better. Character endures. William Henry Danforth set the example. Born in St. Louis in 1926, he would go on to become one of the most influential leaders in American higher education. Graduating with a medical degree from Harvard, he would serve his country as a Navy physician during the Korean War before returning home to join the Washington University faculty. Within a decade, he had risen to lead the School of Medicine, and six years later, he would be the 13th Chancellor of Washington University. For 24 years, he led with integrity, compassion, a strong work ethic, and a sense of purpose, transforming WashU from a commuter campus to a world-renowned institution, assisted through it all by his wife, Ibby, a beloved and engaged First Lady. He would go on to launch one of America's most successful university fundraising efforts, increasing the endowment to nearly $2 billion, adding 70 endowed professorships, and tripling the number of student scholarships. In a life devoted to others, he made his mark not only on higher education, but also on the individual lives of staff, faculty, and generations of alumni. I recall sitting on the athletic field in August 1981 while Uncle Bill, dressed in pajamas, read bedtime stories to thousands of students on a warm St. Louis evening. Unassuming, understated, brilliant, and kind, he taught us so many lessons. He always made time. You could find him sitting on a bench in the quad. Somehow Chan Dan managed to change this concept of an ivory tower, and I think we really valued that. Chancellor Danforth was an advocate for academic freedom, receiving recognition from the American Association of University Professors and named the 1977 Man of the Year. Yet for all of his accomplishments as a medical doctor, university chancellor, and civic leader, he considered his greatest achievement to be the nearly 60,000 students who graduated during his tenure. Bill was by far the very best boss I ever had. He never failed to treat me with the utmost respect. He sent me a letter that I treasure, which said, I have long felt that the greatest people of Washington University were those whose life and character inspired the rest of us. Dr. Danforth was an example to us all. Thank you, Dr. Danforth, for your inspiration, your leadership, your kindness, and your enormous impact on Washington University, the entire St. Louis community, and the world. Rest in peace.